Hi and welcome to another episode of Cafe Chronicles. I'm Steve. Uh, today we're going to be looking at carburetors. So we started at these um, a little while back and I had to stop. Uh, the reason why I had to stop was I wasn't sure what jet sizes that we were going to need um, for them because we hadn't selected an exhaust yet. We didn't know if it was going to be 4 to 4, 4 to 2, 4 to 1. Um, also, um, we weren't sure about if we were going to go for air, uh, pod filters or if we were going to go for the standard um, air box that comes on the bike. Since then, we've made those decisions. We've bought the exhaust um, and we're sticking with factory jetting uh, or default jetting. Uh, the exhaust that we've got um, means you don't have to rejet, and which is awesome. And um, we've bought a rebuild kit for the for the um, uh, carbs, and also we went out and bought a um, ultrasonic cleaner. So, what we want to do today um, is uh, finish off building, uh, uh, taking the carbs apart, and uh, get them into the ultrasonic cleaner, and um, and then see how they fare. I'm going to show you a little video. It's older video, um, and it's where I started to take these bad boys apart first um, and then we'll get cracking from where we leave off. I'm not sure if you could see there, I, I'm after putting out four bags and I'm going to use it to keep the parts separate for each carb. As the bike is facing forward, I'm going to number them one through four. Number two here is the master. Um, how we know that is because it's not adjustable on top here. Um, and also um, it's it's got all the controls on it here as well.
I was afraid that was going to be uh, too tight to get that in and out, but it's actually freaking perfect. I'm so happy about that. Um, I did something, you know, stupid. Um, this version here of this uh, ultrasonic cleaner, it comes in a few different sizes. This one is the two liter size. And um, I was afraid um, with all this COVID stuff's going on at the moment. So in order to, um, I wanted to get like one of the six liter ones or something like that. And then I'd know that it would be big enough to put whatever parts I have in. And the problem is it wasn't gonna come for like another two months because of this COVID stuff. So this one here is the two liter one. So I took a chance on it and uh, looked at the dimensions and stuff and I was like, hopefully it'll work. Um, and um, because I could get it like within a few days. So I was like, take a chance. <laughs> it worked out. I was freaking lucky. Um, that's gonna work real nice. So the mix that I've seen online, uh, people using dish soap, water, and pine saw. My wife, God love her, um, I'm constantly <laughs> using stuff on her. Um, she's going to be thinking, where the hell's the pine saw? So, yeah, so I believe <laughs> she's going to kill me. If I'm not stealing sandwich bags, it's, uh, I guess, now pine saw. We're going to get that temperature all the way up to 70. Leave it in there. Wow, this has done a really nice job. All in all, that's pretty amazing.
just while I'm out here working on the bike, I uh, got a delivery from Steel Town Garage. I don't know if you guys know Steel Town Garage in Hamilton. Um, cool little coffee shop. They do lots of uh, custom motorcycle and cafe racer stuff and stuff like that. But really good coffee too. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this. Um, so I ran into some trouble. Um, I have been messing around with this thing here for probably about two hours. Um, I put on the this little strip here 
to keep all the carbs in place and also the back and plate as well and the whole idea there is to just keep everything in its place where it's supposed to be now the problem was as soon as i did that um i started to run into problems where these little plates here were binding every time you would actuate um these here for the for the throttle well it's not the throttle i guess it's the i guess it's the choke is it um yeah choke um every time you would actuate these guys here would get stuck um and i was losing my freaking mind they were binding so um i would take this strip off i would take the back and plate off and everything would actuate perfectly nice and crisp I'd put it all back and then boom, it was getting stuck, getting stuck, getting stuck. Um, eventually, I went ahead and took these screws out. Um, if you remember, I'd put um, some some uh, Loctite um, in to basically uh, hold them in place. Um, I took them out and then I just barely moved these little plates around and boom, everything started actuating beautifully. So, moral of the story is... <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, you live and you learn, I guess. Um, but hey, that's what, that's what it's all about, right? The great thing is, um, I'm learning just every freaking inner working of these carbs and of this bike in general. So, that's always a really good thing, I guess. Um, Okay, so last thing we have to do is just pop on this little pump down here, and then we're ready to go. Everything's open and closing nice. <clears throat> I had a lot of trouble with this here. Um, and it was such an easy fix in the end. All I needed to do was just unscrew um, the, the uh, little screws here in these plates. Let them sit and re-tighten them. So we are back in business. We have a f oh, almost fully assembled um, set of carbs. I'm just going to check wherever we're, where these uh, sliders are sitting, the throttle sliders are sitting, to make sure they're all even. We'll do that first, and then we'll go from there. I'll try and get a good camera angle so that you guys can actually see this. Okay, so that's what we're going to call a success today. Um, we finished up the carbs. <clears throat> They're clean. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident with them. I haven't changed the jets on them. Um, I might order some, you know, um, just so that I have them. But they are clean. They are set up. Um, and they are ready to rock and roll. So, um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it took a long time. That uh, ultrasonic cleaner 
was fantastic. If anybody's thinking about getting one of those, get one. Um, my carbs fit in there nicely. Of course, it would have been nice to have a, a six liter um, version so that you could, uh, you know, take off the bowls and tops and put the whole thing in. But like I said, I was a little bit, um, I just wanted it done, you know, so I would have had to wait a few months for the other one uh, because of the whole COVID situation. So I thought, why not go get a smaller one that worked out really well. Um, make no bones about it though, this is the first time I've ever done this. Um, I'm sure now doing it again, a second time if I had to do this again, I could do it a lot faster. Um, considering it, it was my first time, it uh, it took a, a lot. A lot of fiddling around, a lot of trying to mess around with things and figure things out. And it's an intricate little thing, you know. But um, once, you know, it's like anything, once you know how, it's easy, right? So, okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it was definitely an interesting project, um, and we're a little step closer. Um, so, thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, don't forget to like, and don't forget to subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell as well so that you can stay up to date with all the latest videos. All right, thanks a lot. Stay safe. See you guys soon.